Turkish military reinforcements are being sent deep into Syria, to the front lines north of the city of Minbij. The message Turkey is sending is that it's ready to use force if Minbij is not handed over to what it calls its rightful owners. The Turkish deployment followed reports that the Syrian army planned to move in. There will be a vacuum once the U.S. begins withdrawing its troops from areas across northeastern Syria, controlled by the Syrian Kurdish armed group, the YPG. People are afraid after reports of a possible military operation and other reports that the regime wants to capture the city. We're preparing to escape if the regime enters or if there is military action. The U.S. military and what is known as the Minbij Military Council are the forces on the ground. But the Turkish government and the Syrian opposition say the council is a front for the YPG, a group they consider terrorists and separatists who have exploited the fight against ISIL to carve out a state of their own. Minbij is among predominantly Arab areas under YPG control. <laughs> Damascus has been making its position known. State media has been broadcasting images from the YPG-controlled region of what it says are protests against a possible Turkish offensive. The government has accused Turkey of territorial ambitions. Turkey's main objective in Syria is to prevent the establishment of a Kurdish state along its borders, so as not to inflame separatist sentiment among its own Kurdish population. It's not clear if Turkey will accept YPG's rule to be replaced by that of the Syrian government. But if it does, it will demand guarantees that the YPG is rendered ineffective. Turkey's president has promised to drive ISIL and the PYG from Syria. His military has changed its posture, strengthening Turkey's hand as Syria's players likely engage in backdoor negotiations to prevent what could be a new conflict. Zanakhudar al-Shazira on the Turkey-Syria border.